So, here in front of me, we have my iBook G3 again. And that is because it is finally time to upgrade the storage. So, what I have here is an MSATA to IDE adapter. Here is a 128GB MSATA SSD and my sputter that I bought for this because I didn't have a sputter before just fell off my desk. And last but not least, here's a slot loading combo drive I'm also installing in the unit because the optical drive is dead. So, I won't do any of the disassembly on camera because disassembling these things are a nightmare and I don't feel like working around the camera. But I will be back once I disassemble this. So I've reached a point where I cannot get past because I can't get this last quarter of so while I'm waiting for um, trying to find a solution for that, I will put together the little adapter assembly. So, um, let me just reposition the camera and then I'll be back. Okay. So, here we have the adapter itself. Now I'll need to modify it eventually, but for now, because of the way the, C the CD drive is going to work, but, um, but I'll do that later when I actually, you know, put the whole thing in the computer. So for now, I will try and figure out how to open this. I might need scissors. Yeah, it looks like I'll need scissors, so I'll be right back and I'll have this cut open. So I am back, and we have cut open the case to the SSD. So now, in theory, I believe all that needs to be done is I need to stick that in there, and it will click into place. And there is our IDE SSD that will go in the iBook. So for the modification I'll need to do, this optical drive is hardwired to master, and so I will need to, and the iBook is hardwired to, uh, the iBook is hardwired for master on the hard drive. So what I will need to do is modify this so that modify the jumper pins so that it won't we won't have a two drives vying for master so yeah I guess I will be back once I'm ready to install the optical drive and this in the iBook So, I have the laptop fully disassembled, or at least as far as I need to go. I did accidentally break a screw stock um, because I was unaware of a screw, but um, I intend to repair that using baking soda and super glue later. So, interesting thing about the hard drive connector is um, uh, 
Not sure if you can see that, but there are white um, pinholes. Now, I don't know what those pinholes necessarily are. If they're, if the white indicates that they are, there's no kind of contact, or if it means that they are like special in some way. So I'm going to wait to plug in the hard drive until I know about that, because um, yeah, because two of the white pinholes are actually on the jumpers, which you know might mean that I don't need to do anything to the um, uh, uh, to the uh, jumpers actually, and I can just and I don't have to modify it. But while I'm still trying to find information on that, I can go ahead and install the optical drive. So to do that, I am going to and not gonna screw anything in until I screw anything in or put the laptop together more than I need to until I know for sure that both the optical drive and the um uh, That was the problem. I was putting it in sideways. Um, I'm not going to screw anything in until I know everything is working. Because the this is a pain to take apart, and I don't want to have to do it more than necessary. So... I'm going to need to um, plug this in off camera. I'll be right back. You know, it just occurred to me with how much tension there is between this and this, it might be a good idea to wait to plug this in until I plug the hard drive in. So, yeah. Um, but I'll get back as soon as I figure out what those white pins, um, mean. Okay, so I'm back, and apparently the white pin holes are just for positioning. So that means, um... I will... That means I will likely need to, um... Yeah, I'll need to modify it by breaking off the cable select pins, um... Which would be these two pins. The, the left two, um... Uh, jumper pins. I guess I'll do that, um, I'll be back. Okay, so I did that, um, as you can see, two pins are missing now, and I really hope I did that correctly, or else, um, yeah, I'll need to buy another one of these. I just really can't have the, um, uh, have it, um, jumpering wrong, jumpering incorrectly, or else it won't work. It would help if I actually, you know, put it in the correct way around. Okay, so, here we are. It is not fully put back together yet, but I put everything back together in somewhat, really just as a test fit, because I don't want to 
put this thing back together only to find that it doesn't work. So let's hope it works and let's hope nothing is shorted. Oh, I forgot to plug in the DC um, cable, so I will do that really quickly. Okay, DC cable plugged in. That's a good sign. It sounds like there's a disc in the drive. So it looks like everything works. Let's see what this is in the drive, because I don't know. I will... Right back, I just need to see what the open firmware command for ejecting the disk is. Okay, so looks like it is eject CD. Okay. Let me grab my firewire disk. Okay, so the DVD drive is seen, and it apparently has a DVD in it. I don't know what this is. Um, I'll have to throw it in my Power Mac at some point and figure it out. So, I should... So the DVD drive is good, and I should be able to boot this. Um, let's see. Now I need to see if the... Um, Okay, now I need to see if the um, SSD is seen. Drive setup. Uh, initialize. And I think this is it. Yep. Would you look at that? One hundred and eleven gigabytes free. This is that SSD. So, um, yeah, I think, if you... yeah, um, so I am actually almost out of tape on this tape. It's a tape that I, I use. So I'm going to put this back together, uh, wrap up the video, and then starting next, um, uh, I will make a part two to this video that will be
restoring everything back to normal, and also installing and setting up Mac OS 10.4. So, there you have it. So I will be back once this is fully set up. So, yeah, I got this put back together, um, repaired the screw stock, uh, so as you can see, it's booting off of the Tiger install disk that I have, and it's working fine, and we should see the uh, SSD and disk utility shortly. Ah, uh, yes. Here we go. This is our SSD. Um, 111.8 gigabytes free. Or total capacity. Um, so, yeah. So, anyway. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I look forward to showing part two, where we set this up as a dual boot system between macOS 10 Tiger and macOS 9. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a good evening.